dare you moving inside my palace this early morning, holding my family at gunpoint. The nightmare was a forewarning. Hey, Dad, myself and my love are going out. Are you sure you are referring to the same person I'm here for? What have you come to do? Give it to me! Hey, stop there. Who are you? I need a gun. Come say me hello to my mom. What the Maya! hell are you saying? Jesus! Silly question. The sacred soul of war of the Ibeku kingdom is now without a Viera once more. Never in living memory did the gods take away an agony chamber of Ibeku. Why don't we wait till the gods speak to us? Our creator did not give us free will and thinking ability for nothing. It's your one. No other family. Use the next agony chamber. You are not the choice of the guy. You can't hang an eagle. No, you can't. Shut up. Hang the... No! 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 I am eagle! I think the gods are warning you. Apart from this palace, the only place in this kingdom, the Ikoro River, with us here before your royal presence, is Willis. I want him out of my palace now. How would you do that without starting a cold war between both royal families? I am under a royal order never to allow him close to the palace. I am not a prince, neither am I a chief. The gods simply threw the problem you came to them with back at you. Come back and take it or cease to be a titled man and a member of this council. Let him go on the seven year exile. His life and the throne are far more important to us than our kingdom. There is no more love, and all the issues thrown up by any mass attack on that Goni chamber could be buried. I will never, I will let this happen. Go inside. I will not. Go inside. I will not. I decree it. Yes. Any of you can stop the fight by calling my name three eyes. Otherwise, oh! you're going to rape me. It don't matter. Whichever way a man chooses to have sex with his wife, he can never be called rape. Leave this room. Leave this room now, or you will have that sex with my cops. Bring them along, guys. Call her. Bring her. Pick up your phone and start calling your son right now. Immediately. Ask him to come home now, now, now. Or I disown him. Leave me. Come on. What's the problem? What? Find a way to stop this madness, or I will make you childless myself. This marriage ceremony cannot continue. What? Take this, take this! You! Who can you do? I met you, who cares this? Mbappe have been humiliated!
so proud of a man's action like I am with what you did at the palace a while ago. Uncle, you have simply shown me beyond me that indeed the Obiago family is made up of men with impeccable honor. Yeah, listen. Yes, sir. How did you know what happened in the Cabinet room. Yes. <laughs> How? Okay. I am a man with my ears on the ground. Okay? Just a minute. Aha! Congratulations. And then this is for you. For not publicly condemning his decisions. Hey! hey, hey, hey you you bought us cars. You see, I believe in dignity of labor. Now, are you people willing to partner with me to promote the integrity of Yubiago's family? To help me curtail the excesses of his majesty? Are you people willing to partner with me? Wait, 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 wait. Leave that to us. It is our responsibility, our job, us. <laughs> yes, I am yeah. a journalist. Then you have to understand that men given such responsibility should not be seen as poor people at all. What I've just given to you is just a tip of the iceberg. Mm. That's what it is. Mm. Uncle Omar, yeah. my dear. I will force. His Majesty, to eat his words, return, restore, and reinstate everything he took from you today. Back to you. Oh, my brother, if you do that, that will be the worst humiliation for a sitting Igwe in the bank. But doesn't he deserve it? Forever daring to start a war with our family. Oh, he deserves it. It is now war, like you said. What are you talking about? Oh. He has simply drawn the line. Yes. He has simply drawn the line. And I will strip him of everything that belongs to him. Trust me. So what are you I will you strip him to his pants. And I saw my boy go. Hey, we'll bring the dog. And dog, I love it. Even if he becomes the agony chamber now, my lord, the Obiago family got it with a badly bruised image. But what you did to Ichie Onoha. Yes. With that consolation, I'd advise that you back down and let him take the post. No. Not on his life. He will never become Agunechamba. As long as I remain the Igwe 
of a bagel. You told me today that the only thing that stopped a cabinet revolt is that you had your kingsmen suddenly behind you. Now, how much longer? How much longer do you think you can retain that support with an ambitious, wealthy man like Wilson Mbakwe in the picture? I don't know. I don't know. But you see, backing down is not an alternative. It's not an option at all. I mean, even without the nightmares. How do you think I'm going to let a man rejected by the gods at birth become the agony chamber? Come on. That would be rubbishing the post. They did not completely reject him. They banished him for 40 years and the banishment he served out successfully. That's it. Have you asked yourself how he was able to do that? Have you asked yourself how our day old baby was able to survive in the forest? Did anybody take sides with the gods to make it possible? Well, just let the gods take care of that one themselves. Now, not when the same gods are not taking any definite stand on issues at the moment. They threw things back at me when I went to them. Now, I'm going to do things the best way I know. Yes. My husband, just beware that in so doing, you do not become an enemy, but to men and the God. That's what I want to do, brothers. Do I have your support? If you succeed in doing that, Your Majesty, it will mean that Wilson Mbakwe will have to wait for another year before he could become eligible again for the office of Agune Chamber or any other post at all in the Beku Kingdom. And according to our tradition, the post of Agune Chamber must not be vacant for more than a hundred days. Forty-six days are already gone since the death of Chief Mbakwe. I agree with you, Your Majesty. But be it as it may, I still see it as a master stroke which the Obiago family will vehemently resist. Yes, because if they don't, you will have the right, once the hundred days are up, to appoint one of us, the Agone Chamber, thereby leaving us with the two most powerful offices in Ibeku Kingdom. I'm sure they must resist. That's interesting, Your Majesty. It will once and for all uh, bring to an end uh, the power structure that has generated much rivalry between our both families for hundreds of years. If that happens, it will be an unprecedented political revolution in the Beko Kingdom. So, do I have your support? Your Majesty, it's only the Royal Cabinet that can approve such a measure, and it must be with absolute majority. You can see that in this case, our support means nothing 
without that of the others. In other words, you will support if I get majority of your colleagues in the council to support me too. Thank you. My brothers, His Majesty, Iwe Ogumba, Ekepre, wants me to swear to the gods. What? wants me to swear to the gods that nobody from Ibe desecrated the culture by helping me survive the 40 years I spent in the evil forest. Who told you that? Uncle Ogadi, mm -hmm. have I ever told you of any event in the palace that turned out not to be true? Uh, no, not at all. <laughs> What that would mean if he succeeds. Refusing the Akuna Jemba post when it was offered to me has completely disqualified me from the post. And now, the next person qualified for the post is being asked to swear which will automatically disqualify him for at least one year. In our culture, Wilson, that post cannot be vacant for more than a hundred days. If that time elapses, His Majesty will be mandated by the people to appoint an Agune Chamber from his family. This is the plan. This is what they want to achieve. They want to take everything and leave us with nothing. Kanta, kanta, mapya kwa hanya. How dare him? Listen, we must stop him. We must. How? He cannot force you to swear unless with an absolute majority vote of the members of the royal cabinet. Yes. Maybe they are just trying to force us back to the council. I have it on good authority. The such is not the case here. The Igwe wants to keep the throne and the position of the Agune Chamber in his family. Thank God he does not have such power to do that. An absolute majority vote of the council is impossible in a thing like this. But with the three of you out from the council, how sure are we? How much would it cost to get the support of those on his side? Hmm. Uh, 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 are you suggesting we bribe them? His Majesty is calling an emergency meeting tomorrow. He wants to use that meeting to gain the council's approval. How else can we deny him the votes he's seeking within a short period of time? Lord 
want all the elders that will be attending that meeting tomorrow, here in two hours. Recent. Our gods have been silent while things are falling apart in Ibeku. Whenever they choose to speak, they tell us little or nothing. Or they speak things that confuse us the more. This is the first time this kind of a thing is happening in the kingdom. Yet, we have not asked ourselves questions. Why do the gods that have watched over Ibeku for centuries suddenly turn their backs on us? Why did they appoint someone other than the son of the late Agune Chemba to the post for the first time in history? I mean, why was Wilson Mbakwe not their first choice? Your Majesty, those are thought-provoking questions. Those are action-provoking questions. The time for thinking is over. We are in the middle of a dangerous emergency that calls for action. That is why I called both of you. <clears throat> Your Majesty, what do you want us to do now? I want you to tell me how it is possible that a day old child abandoned in the evil forest 40 years ago returned to Ibeku, educated and unescorted. Who told him who he is? Matthew, our custom forbids him to have any form of contact with anybody in Ibeku till he is 40. Is it not possible? Is it not possible that someone played pranks for which the kingdom is suffering from? Good questions, yet speculative. We cannot act on mere suspicion in such case with huge implications, lest we offend the gods in the process. I am not suggesting that we act in isolation, no. I am suggesting that we go before the gods for answers. Um, Your Majesty, how? By getting Wilson Bakwe swear before the gods that he is clean and qualified to be in our midst in the first place. That can only be done with a royal decree passed with an absolute majority votes of the Royal Council, Your Majesty. Yeah. That is why I called both of you. I have the support of the Imeni royal family. Your Majesty, this is a social revolution you are proposing here. <clears throat> Your Majesty, what Onowu said is correct. It is dicey. I 
You are making me the offer at gunpoint. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I forgot. The gun is not meant to scare you, but to make you sit down and then seriously it with me. And what is the difference? In both cases, your gun is still pointing at me. Can I sit down? I have no choice. Please do sit down. I checked your bank account today and I found out that your balance is 72,000 now. And I expected that uh, a man with such a miserable account situation would grab an offer like this, just like a young man would grab a woman he's in love with when he first sees her naked. Uh, no man can grab such a woman if he's sure that uh, she's HIV positive. Listen to me, Wilson. I need money. But if what I'm thinking is correct, then not this kind of money. Cheers, Andrew. I am not here to turn you against your family's interest. Uh, will I be wrong if I think so? So, <clears throat> are you rejecting the money? What if I told you that all the members of the Royal Council have collected theirs, including your brothers, Iche Ibekwe and Iche Onwuchekwa? What will you do? Excuse me. Who are you calling? One of the elders, of course, to confirm. <laughs> Ichi Osandu, if you accept this money and any one of your brothers or any one of the elders calls you up a few minutes later to ask you if you did, you would know in the implication. What would you say to him? None of the others can tell me lies. Especially my brothers amongst them. <laughs> well, they all had. And they left me with a definite instruction not to tell anyone else. Not even their wives. I only told you because you insisted. You are telling me lies. Are you not? Are you taking the money or not? Well, <clears throat> it doesn't matter whether you take the money or not. Okay? I already have the absolute majority I seek in the council. So, good luck for that. Uh, wait. Mm -hmm. Wait. 
<laughs> we still in love with. <laughs> the son of a lion. <laughs> Just sit down, sit down. Elders, we vote now. Those in favor of Wales and Mbakwe, swearing before the gods. That's the votes. Wait. 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 Sit right down. No. Sit down! Say what you are here for. I want the symbol of the statutory royal approval. Right now. I will never give it. Even at gunpoint. You have ten seconds to give it to me. Or Kill everybody here. Starting from the door. Hey! Give me two! Give me two! Give me two! Two! Your Majesty, give it to him. Give me three! Four! I will not. Then I call the head of the council to have you dethroned now. My brother, please give it to him. Six! Those in support, raise up your hands. Wait, wait, wait! Raise up your hands. Wait, wait! Seven! Eight. Nine. I told him to give you. Come here. Come here. Carry your head. On your head. On your head. Quick. Now, all of you. Hey, stole it right here. Hey. Hey, hey. Now, all of you. Hey! Hold it right there. All of you will accompany me to the shrine to be installed the Aguri Chamber. Move! Move all of you! One single file. Come on! Move! One single file. You go! You follow! Go! Hey! Sit down! Huh? Sit down! I said, sit down. Cuts of the back way. in your dream again? He, he forced me to accept him as Agune Chamber at gunpoint before my cabinet members. Before I put the issue to vote, does any one of you have anything to say? I take the silence to mean no. All right, so we vote. Any one of you that is wait, Your Majesty. I have something to say. Go ahead. <clears throat> In Ibeku Kingdom, we have two royal families. 
Does any of us know why? None of us. Whenever a member of one of those two families ascends the throne, somebody from the other royal family automatically takes up the post of Agone Chamber. Does any of us know why our ancestors made it so? Again, none of us knows. Whose responsibility is it to expose and punish anyone who offends the gods in Ibeku kingdom? I'm asking you, leaders of Ibeku, whose responsibility is it? It is the responsibility of the gods. Are we gods? Are we gods, leaders of Ibeku? No. no. What are we doing here? Tell me what are we doing here? Listen to me. It is obvious that His Royal Majesty, my own brother, has an interest in what is happening in Ibeku Kingdom since Ichiembakwe died. My question therefore is this. Is this interest good enough reason for us to destroy the rich culture bequeathed to us by our great ancestors? Are we not implying by our actions so far that His Royal Majesty is more important than the Kingdom itself? I mean, who are we to speak or act when the gods have not? Enough. Excuse me, your majesty. Allow me to speak up before you destroy this kingdom. In your quest to make yourself the only thing that matters in the kingdom. Osano, stop it! Osano. Elders. This meeting is over. We are one How dare he? How dare Osundu? How dare he? Such a betrayer from a member of our own family. Hi. What must have gotten over Osundu? Whatever it was. Whatever it was. Whatever it was, he treated me in public. He stripped me naked. I will not take it. I will not. I will not. My lord, what are you shouting? Father, what is it? Talk to us, father. Uncle, what happened? No. 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 Our son will have to explain it to him. He will have to explain everything to us. He what in God's us. name is going on, my lord? Talk to us. Go in. Both of you, go inside. Now, go! 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 Brothers, come with me. Your Highness, do you know that you are disturbing the peace of my family? Peace of your family? Of course! Osondo, if you do not get all the elders to support my proposal, then that peace, that peace you need for your family will never come your way. Your Highness, let me tell you, there's no point threatening me. No point at all. You better go and do what our tradition requires of you. If you think you can stampede me into doing things the way you want them, you better go and think again. Because there's no way I'm going to do that even at the point of death. Osondo. Osondo. 
Be prepared. Be prepared for this war you have just declared between us. Be prepared. Go and tell your brother, Igwe. Ah, I got Yes. Okay. Oh no. You're welcome. Thank you. Let me start by thanking you for honoring my invitation within a short period of time. I'm very sure the both of you will be wondering why you're here. Well, reason being that um, I wanted to bury my parents. So I called a family meeting to tell them that. But I was told that I cannot. So when I asked why, I was told that I can only get the answer from the royal cabinet. But because, of course, you all know that His Majesty placed a ban on my coming to the palace. Hence, I respectfully asked you to come over to my place. So please, can you tell me why I cannot bury my parents? and brothers. There can be no such thing in this kingdom until a new Agony Chamber is installed. So, why can't another Agony Chamber be installed? Well, there will soon be. There will soon be. Let us Everybody beware. Oh no, please. Please, please. Would you respect? My late father, the former Agony Chamber of the Beko Kingdom, was one of you. He was an illustrious son of this kingdom. A great philanthropist. A man with such pedigree should be treated good in his death. Because it could happen to any man. Put yourself in his shoes. Would you be happy? Should this kind of treatment be meted out to you? Would you be happy? Excellent. Aguna, tell them in case they have forgotten. Excellent. Excellent. Because an injury to one is an injury to all of us. Your Majesty, Wilson Mbakwe is seeking permission to bury his dead family members. Permission denied. <laughs> Tell him it's a taboo at the moment. What made it a taboo, Your Majesty? Tell me, what made it a taboo? How dare you step your feet inside my palace again, Otondo? How dare you? Listen to me, Your Majesty. I am here to tell you that if after three days, you have not allowed Wilson Mbakwe to become the Agune Chamber. I will damn the consequences and expose all you have been doing to stop him to the people. Not only that, I will tell everybody who cares to listen how you have been planning to rape our culture to suit your personal interest. I will tell them. You will not dare me to that extent, Osondo. Then do the right thing. 
Do the right thing or you prepare to test the wrath of the people. Osondo, Osondo, you have woken the slumbering lion. You have woken the slumbering lion and you will taste of it wrath. No one ever threatens me. No one, not even you. Wait, just three days. Three days, I will be back in the double. Three days. Your Majesty, we have come to... What will the people say? What will the people say when they hear that their king refused to allow a qualified man occupy the office of Agune Chamber because of some ridiculous nightmares he had? What? Trying to find out why Oklosondo is doing what he's doing is what you do not have time for with the latest development. Because if he carries out his threat, then you will most likely end up as the most disgraced Igwe in Ibeko history. My people love me. They will stand by me. They will stand by reason. They have always trusted my judgment. No Sondra and his cohorts can accuse me of anything but selfishness. From the meticulous To the ridiculous, it's just one step in this situation. Pride is dead. Let common sense take its place. I beg you, please, Father, please. Common sense in this case that does not involve first clarifying how Wilson Mbagwe survived in the evil forest is madness level and I will not be part of it but dad you just can't no. you that is my decision Ugona final Who is that? Yeah. 
your people called for this emergency meeting. Your Majesty. So. Your Majesty. Just a disaster. What's the meaning of that? You chose someone who was found dead in his house. Hey! He was stabbed to death. sounded louder than a thunderclap. They think I killed or something. How could I? How could I have killed my own first cousin? What for? For opposing you publicly. For threatening you. If you were in their shoes, wouldn't you think so? Wouldn't you? No, that is not a murderer. Oh yeah? Who will believe in his innocence? Who will believe in his innocence in this? Who? I did not kill Osama. No, no. I did not kill Osondo. What happened between both of you in the last few days marked him out for elimination by someone who wants to rubbish you. Even if the person is eventually exposed, the people will still blame you for making him a victim through your recent deeds. must talk this time or I will forever despise them. That is outrageous! They called for it. Father! Ah! <laughs> Killed us under. The gods just ordered me to go home immediately. If you take another step, I will commit murder here before the gods. Yes. Tell me who killed him. Listen. The gods must talk to me now. They must talk to me now or. What in the name of the gods is the meaning of this? Jude. I beg the warriors to help me bring the curse of my father whom you killed to you. Here it is. 
eat it. Dude, remove this corpse from my palace now. Take it to the mortuary. Too late, Your Majesty. Too late. As you can see, I've already placed a chick on it. And as you well know, anybody that touches it, except on the orders of Agune Chamber of Ibeku, becomes a taboo and subject to life punishment. Your Majesty. I told you to summon the elders for an emergency cabinet meeting in Mweke. Where are they? They sent me back to tell you that they are not coming, Your Majesty. Including Ichie Ibekwe and Ongu Chekwa? Yes, Your Majesty. Come on, son. Oh, Ah, yes, yeah. Don't worry, son. Come on. Come right in. Mom! Dad! What, 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 what's going on? What's happening? Not to worry. Just walk right in. I will explain everything to you inside. Oh, oh, oh close. It's okay. Come, come right inside. Come. come. Okay? It's okay. Come. Pass. Come on. Yes, come on inside. Yes, son, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, Yes. Come on, let's go in. Let's go in. In, son, come on. It's okay, come on, let's go inside. Let's just go inside. I will explain Whatever, Dad, whatever. No! I mean, things like this shouldn't be allowed in this age. How could they drop Uncle's cops at your doorsteps and you're doing nothing about it? Do you even think about the health hazard? You want it to decompose here in the palace? Come on, Dad, come on! In the next 1,000 years, son, that cops will not decompose. That check placed on top of it will ensure that the corpse does not decompose. Ensure that it will not decompose. No, please, 
that. Please, please, Dad. Listen, we have to involve the police in this. Yes, we just have to call the police into this. Seriously. No way. And why not? Why not? Son, sit down. <clears throat> Due to incessant harassment by the colonial authorities, a certain Igwe of Ibeko, after one of his many detentions by the colonial police, passed a royal decree before the gods, making reporting any issue involving the Igwe to the police an abomination punishable by total banishment. So, we cannot report this matter to the police. Dad. Yes. Dad. You are the Igwe. The king. Reverse this decree. Seven virgins were buried at the shrine of Alanguri Beko to make that decree. The process will have to be repeated to repeal it. There, there has to be another way. There, there just has to be another way to this. And come to think about it, why hasn't another Agune chamber been installed? Pursued me from the arena where I was addressing the selected youths of Ibeko Kingdom up to the palace gates with clubs and other weapons. Youths born and raised in this in this kingdom could raise their hands against against the prince of the land. On whose orders? On your orders, Dad. Yes, you brought this on him. On us. Shut up, Gunnar. I will not shut up, Dad. I will not. Who is the threat to this family? You or Wilson Bakwe? Daddy, can't you see that in your fear you're bringing your nightmares to reality? One more word from you, young girl. And I will curse you. What did you say? What did you just say? What? You try it, and you will become a man without a family this instant. Flora, you, you are threatening me. Father, I don't care about your reasons anymore. Do you understand me? I don't care. I want you to immediately release the symbol of statutory royal approval to Wilson and Bakwe. And if I don't, I will denounce you publicly and the throne as well. And with that, the people of Ibeko Kingdom will dethrone you without delay. You won't die. I will. I will do just that. If by nightfall, you haven't done as I've said. I'm not bluffing. Good job. 
good job, good job, Jude. I am very proud about you and your boy's action at the palace. I heard the prince flew faster than a flying bird. Something <laughs> bad. <laughs> good job. Uh, once again, my condolences over the death of your father. I will make sure he's given a befitting burial that he deserves. He will be buried as the hero that he is. Once this whole thing is over. Okay? Meanwhile, uh, I have um, a little token for you and your boys. Yes, um, Jude, um, go into the house. Somebody will be there to give you envelopes of uh, 500,000 naira each for you and your boys, okay? I told you it's just a token, okay? To add to that, I'm granting you and your boys scholarships. It's you. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's all right. Thank you, sir. So you can go now. Into the house. Thank you, Chief. Thank you, sir. These boys can set the hello, the whole of it big bless. Have this 50,000 before. Okay, I, I vividly remember that you told me that the Yemeni's family have never prevailed over the Yemeni's family. Yes, and uh, we're having an upper hand again. We're a genius. Can't you see he's here to see the world's wife? <laughs> Sir, the chair request outside. Requested to see you. From His Royal Majesty, Enyi the Sixth of the Big Life. This is the symbol of statutory royal approval for you, West Zimbabwe. Go and tell His Majesty that I do not desire the office of the Agude Chamber as much as I desire the reinstatement of my uncle back the royal cabinet with all his titles restored and until that is done I will not accept the position of the Agony Chamber. Agony, don't bother about me, okay? Accept, accept. No. All I crave for is honor for every member of the Obiago's family, not personal posts. Go. Go and tell him I said so. Go. I said, go. Everybody beware. He's 
so dangerous. He's so dangerous. He's so mysterious. He's so mysterious. Everybody beware. Everybody beware. Why you? So dangerous. He's so dangerous. He's so mysterious. He's so mysterious. Everybody, Everybody beware. Why are you? Hey. He's so dangerous. He's so mysterious. Everybody beware.